dearly beloved i welcome you uh, to the throne of grace where we shall be feasting from the word of god today we shall be looking at the topic i titled restored to my original destiny restored to my original destiny our scriptural emphasis is taken from second chronicles chapter 24 verse 13 so the workmen labored and the work was completed by them they restored the house of god to its original condition and reinforced it to its original condition that means that the house of god had an original condition it had an original beauty it had an original look and it was destroyed for several for, by reason uh, of other factors that destroyed the original building and after some time god steered men that rose up again and had to rebuild the house of god and restored it to its original condition so i want you to note that word original original means as it were in the beginning so they had to restore it to how it was at the beginning and it was therefore restored just like the physical house of god was restored today we are the temple of god they restored the physical house or the temple and today we are the temple of god the devil has destroyed this temple in a lot of ways they are some of the temple that have been destroyed by sin they are some of this temple the tongue of this temple have been destroyed by lies people that will lie and tell lies and tell lies that means the tongue in the temple has been destroyed they are those that their lungs have been destroyed by uh, excessive drinking and drunkenness that means that what the lungs in the temple has been destroyed your body is the temple of god the holy spirit dwells in that body that is why when you die the spirit of god leaves you because that body is not more functional again and so your body is a vessel that carries the spirit of god it is a vessel where your spirit and the holy spirit meets to dwell and therefore when you live in sin that means that that original temple is being destroyed and god is restoring us to that original destiny if you are living in sin first and foremost you have lost your original destiny the most important thing is about your life your connection to god your righteousness your salvation is the most important of any other thing that you can ever think about and so if you lose your salvation then that means that you have lost your original originality you have lost it you have lost the original foundation as it were you have lost it and therefore if you are living in sin and you are listening to me it means you have lost your original destiny and when you lose your original destiny then every other thing will begin to collapse whatever that is your calling you know it will be deviated god called jonah and jonah deviated to elsewhere that is what sin can do god is calling you to serve him you're doing another thing god has called you to be a great engineer you have the talent of a great footballer you know you're supposed to be a great accountant a great physician a medical doctor a great teacher and all that because of drunkenness you've lost direction of your original destiny and you have become a, a carbon copy a shadow of who you are supposed to be and god is not happy about it and today where your original destiny has been lost return back to god god wants to restore you back the beauty of your family god wants to restore you back you're always quarreling always fighting in the family always having misunderstanding in the family husband and wife not in talking terms husband and wife living like enemies in the house you have lost the original foundation and the understanding of how god wants marriage to be so whatever that has lost its original uh, 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 destiny, God wants 
to bring about restoration today. And I pray that God shall restore our lives today, shall restore our marriages, shall restore our children, shall restore our businesses, our jobs, and our finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we shall be praying in this order. Say, Father, walk on me to restore the joy of my salvation. Restore my health to its original condition and restore my destiny in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice as you pray together with me. Father, walk on me. Walk on your a son or daughter listening to you that has lost uh, the joy of his or her salvation that has backslidden and everything is not more working together again father i pray for the restoration of soul and lives in the name of jesus christ i pray for the restoration of health some have lost their health by reason of sin some have lost their womb by reason of abortion that was done as a result of fornication some have lost their lungs some, some are going uh, through a, a, a crisis in their body by reason of uh, uh, alcoholism uh, excessive smoking you know people have lost their lives in a lot of ways some have lost their offices because they lied and they told lies and they desecrated the temple of god who they are father we ask for mercy we pray for mercy we ask for mercy we pray for mercy and we cry oh god restore us again to our original destiny in the name of jesus restore your people again restore your daughter that is praying this prayer restore your son again father we cry for mercy and we ask for grace for restoration in the name of jesus christ amen grace for today we shall be asking god to give us grace for the day and we shall be praying in this order father i receive grace for strength strengthen my body immunity to live in divine health in jesus name your body needs to be strong for you to do your work today so pray god to strengthen your physical body strengthen your immunity in jesus name father i receive grace for strength strengthen my body immunity to live in divine health in the name of jesus my body shall not break down in the name of jesus i shall not have heartbreak in the name of jesus my system shall not fail me in the name of jesus my blood is cleansed my heart is strong my liver is functioning my heart is functioning my pancreas is functioning every organ in my heart is functioning effectively and perfectly lord i shall not be constrained by sickness today in the name of jesus i receive strength for grace for strength and grace for divine health in the name of jesus christ amen today's declaration in accordance with job chapter 22 and verse 28 for you shall declare a thing and it shall be so according to your declaration say this declaration after me seven times i am blessed my destiny is blessed and my future is guaranteed in christ jesus i shall not die prematurely i shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of jesus i am blessed my destiny is blessed and my future is guaranteed in christ jesus i shall not die prematurely I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus. I am blessed, my destiny is blessed, and my future is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. I shall not die prematurely, but I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus. I am blessed, my destiny is blessed, and my future is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. I shall not die prematurely, I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus. I am blessed, my destiny is blessed, and my future is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus. I am blessed, my destiny is blessed, and my future is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus. And finally, number seven, I am blessed. My destiny is blessed 
and my future is guaranteed in Christ Jesus. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You shall not die prematurely in Jesus' name. Now, today's reflection. Unforgiveness is a sin. If you are living in unforgiveness today, go and forgive somebody. Else you will not go to heaven. Sin is a merciless slave. Master. Sin is a master without mercy. Stay away from sin. Forgive if you are living in unforgiveness. Else you will not make it to heaven. And I pray that as you forgive somebody, God will also forgive you as you repent to return to the fall of grace again in the name of Jesus. And finally, say this with me. Grace is not a license to encourage sin. Grace is a license to overcome sin. Do not frustrate the grace of God upon your life. Instead, activate the grace of God upon your life by taking responsibility of your destiny. As you take responsibility of your destiny, God will help you to restore you to your original destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are blessed. You just listened to Reverend Dr. Victor Falak, a pastor, a teacher, and a human resource developer. For a copy of the devotional, call 081-144-22228 or 70 or visit Victor Filak on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.